All right, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we're getting ready for tip-off here for the first group match between Honduras and Costa Rica. We waited a long time to get this one going, and the moment is finally here. This is going to be the first game of the group stage, and we're going to see who gets to advance to the playoffs. Out of the four teams in the group stage, two of them will automatically make it to the grand final. The grand final itself will be a best of three, three-game series, of course. The round robins for the group stage is going to be a best of one. And the matchup again that you're seeing is going to be Costa Rica and Honduras. In the chat earlier, I asked who, you guys, who everyone was rooting for. We saw a mixed bag. We saw some Honduras fans. We saw some Costa Rica fans. Nonetheless, it's time to get this show on the road. And here's the tip-off. Dominating right from the start, looking to make some passes. And that's going to be three in the key. That'll be one free throw. And the team wearing the black jersey is going to be Honduras. And here we go. Honduras with the ball. Passes it out to the corner with the shot. Meter on. Doesn't connect. Defensive rebound coming the other way. Costa Rica. First time they've got the ball. What are they going to do? Looking to make some noise. Comes back to the right. Comes back to the top of the key. You can tell this point guard definitely has the dribble moves to make something happen, but you've got less than three seconds to get a shot off. Passes into the left corner. Shot. No good, but they get the offensive board. And that'll be 10 more seconds for them to make something happen here. And the speed boost tries to get an easy layup, but that's no good as they get the defensive rebound. And we're going the other way. Again, if you're just joining us, you're watching Honduras versus Costa Rica. Honduras is in the black jerseys, and Costa Rica's in the white. Nice little spin move. Gets the shot up. That won't connect, though. And now we try to make a fast break attempt. Pump fake coming back. Resets the ball to the top of the key. I think it's phenomenal that we've gotten 60. Oh, what a shot with the green one. And if you've never played the game, anytime you see a green splash, that just simply means that the shooter was able to time that shot perfectly, and it's going to go in 10 out of 10 times. I just saw Costa Rica take the 3-1 lead. And I was mentioning we've got over 60 nations participating in this round of the FIBA Esports Open, as that shot is no good. Bounces off the rim, gets the steal, pump fakes, and they are able to connect. Just a little over three minutes left to go. Takes a shot off from the top of the key, and that one's going to rattle on in. Grazes the rim and all parts of it as that one goes inside. Honduras looking to make something happen from the logo. Tries to drive to the paint. Gets stopped. Takes a midi. That one's going to be contested. Get the offensive board. Pumps it up. That's going to go in. It's always great if you've ever played the game of 2K. When you have that positioning to get the offensive board in front of your defender, it's almost always going to give you a chance to get the easy two. As he gets a green bean three-pointer from the top of the key. Costa Rica taking the lead. 9-5 with 2.26 to go in the first quarter of this matchup. The first match in this group stage between Honduras and Costa Rica nice shot won't be able to connect defensive rebound going the other way trying to get a fast break open resets it to the point guard bandit looking to make something happen here takes a shot left rim doesn't connect oh and that one's gonna be stolen at half court what Passes it to the left corner. Makes a shot. That's green beans. Looks like Costa Rica is able to connect on their shots early on here. Honduras is going to try to respond here. And they go ahead and secure an easy two as they get to the paint and dish it out. Nice back and forth so far with a minute 33 left in the game. Bandit, top of the key. 
Moves to the left, comes back to the right. Not able to connect on that one. Rivera passes it to the right corner. That shot's no good, and that'll be out of bounds. And that'll be Costa Rica's ball. Bandit is a 17-year-old, and he started playing NBA 2K16, I believe is when he first got it, and he did participate in the FIBA Esports Open, the second edition of the pilot. And uh, one fun fact about him, he says he's a funny guy. I don't know, we'll take his word for it. As we've got Costa Rica less than a minute to go in the first quarter with the lead, 14-7. Nice fake, shoots it. That's green. That's going to be three points, closing the gap to four-point lead for Costa Rica. Nice shot there. You've got about 33 seconds in the game, 20 seconds in the shot clock. Let's see if they try to go for a two-for-one situation here. Tries to pass it back out to the top of the key. Pump fake, nothing there. Looks to go to the paint, passes it to the right corner. Make it, looking to make a decision with about eight seconds left. Gets it off to the left hash. Five, three, got to get a shot up. And what a layup at the last second. Able to secure two points for the team. We've got 12 seconds here. For Costa Rica to make something happen, Bandit goes up to the right hash, makes an ankle breaker right there, gets that shot off. That one's not going to be good. About one second left to put something up, and he's not able to, and that's going to be the end of first quarter with Costa Rica leading Honduras 16-12. to And a solid start so far. Shots are going in as they're open. Let's see how both teams can adjust. And that's a nice pass to the right corner. That won't go in, but that's the offensive board. Kicks it right back out. Two for a dollar. And nice flashy pass right back to the paint to the big man to smash it down. I love it. Looks like our fan base and our chat's growing in here. So do me a favor. Let me hear it as we either slam Four-point lead for Costa Rica. If you're here for Honduras, let me hear a one in the chat. If you're rooting for Costa Rica, let me get a two. Let me know who you're rooting for. Let me know who you're repping as the best players in the nation are representing their countries here, trying to duke it out to win and advance to the grand final as Costa Rica extends the lead to seven, four minutes ago in the second quarter. That's going to be a green bean three. Coming back the other way is Bandit. Looks like Bandit's got some fans in the chat. That's what you love to see when you can hoop. People want to see you jig, but he gets the ball stolen there. Gets it ripped. Not able to finish it at the bucket, so he takes it right back out. And that's going to be thrown away at the paint. Going the other way. Costa Rica looking to take advantage of the turnover. Make something happen. Bandit, top of the key, gets fouled. And that's an easy slam for Costa Rica. As I mentioned earlier, this is the third and final pilot edition of the FIBA Esports Open. But hey, I've heard rumors that there's more to come. Don't quote me on it, but I'm sure with the success they've had with over 60 countries being represented in this tournament, that this is not going anywhere anytime soon. And if you've never seen this mode before, it's called Pro-Am. It's 5v5. Each and every single player that you see is controlled by someone. So you've got 10 players, 5v5, duking it out, representing their nation, trying to make themselves earn a gold medal here. But this is just the start. This is just the beginning as he shimmies. Shoots the three with the defenders around him, but it doesn't matter as he knocks that one down. As Costa Rica knocks that down, Honduras looking to make something happen. Wide open at the three. That one's going to go right on in as he was left wide open. 
that's definitely going to be the key for both teams. If you're open, you've got to knock down your shots because those opportunities are not going to come too often for you. As Bandit looks to Jig, makes a defender jump, shoots. That one's not going to go in, but they get the offensive board. Resets to the right corner. And comes right back to Bandit with eight seconds left with the shot clock. Moving and grooving. What's he going to do? Gets that shot off and green beans. You'll notice every single time that Bandit has the ball, he's looking to crab the defender. If you're not aware of what that means, that means when you get the defender behind you, that way you're able to get the shot off and get a solid attempt as Bandit has done successfully a few times now. We've got less than two minutes left to go here. That open shot, looking to pump fake a little bit. Didn't like the look. Coming back to the top of the key. Wanted to shoot it, but decided not to. And that pass is going to be turned over. On mine, looking to make something happen. Bandit gets the ball, right hash. Moving and grooving. What's he going to do? Wanted to shoot it, decided not to. Passed it out instead. Three seconds, got to put up something here. They get the shot off and they get the bucket. Very fortunate for them to get that last second shot off, which happened to go in as they extend their lead. 31 to 20 with the wide open shot from the right corner. Doesn't go in. Defensive rebound. Resets it out to the guard. Underrated. Back to Bandit. And Jose with the slam and the end one. As Costa Rica will get another opportunity to extend the lead with the free throw at the line. 33 20. Costa Rica. 48 seconds left in the game as that free throw is going to go in. Honduras now coming the other way. Gets it to their center. Center to the right corner. Shoots it. That one's going to go down. Somebody's got to guard that man because he is wide open, taking those shots and making them. Costa Rica, one-man advantage. Decides to dump it to the left half. Shot. That one's going to go in. 33 seconds in the game, 22 seconds in the shot clock. Let's see if they go for a two-for-one opportunity here. And once again, right corner, not able to make that one go in, but consistently staying open. And here's the beauty. You see Bandit with what looks like a chess piece, and that's a playmaking badge. And what that means is anytime Bandit passes the ball to any of his teammates, that teammate is going to get an additional boost on their shot. Let's see how they utilize it with about seven seconds to go. Pass to the left hash. Nothing there so far. Right back to Bandit. Got to get something up. Oh, and I don't think that bucket's going to count. Definitely a good attempt, but I think the clock ran out. And that's going to be the end of half. Of course, our player of the game, none other than Bandit. 19 points, four assists, shooting at a 62% clip from the three. Honduras is not out of this. They're only down by 12. Plenty of time to adjust the game plan, come back and cut into the deficit and possibly even take the lead themselves. But to start off third is going to be Costa Rica. Playmaking badge is still active. Again, remember, any pass that a teammate gets from Bandit would get an additional boost. Definitely thought he had the range there. Takes a shot, doesn't go in. Honduras coming back down the court. Chicken to the left before they get fouled at the logo. Looking to make this possibly a 10 or even a 9-point lead here with this possession. That shot is green from that left corner. Cutting into the lead, making it 9 points. Banded up the court. No longer has a playmaking badge, but he says, I don't need it, as he nails a 3 from the top of the key and gets their 3 right back. Making the lead 12 again. A little over four minutes to go. Pass to the left hash. Shot. That's not going to be good. Defensive rebound. Passes it to the left corner. Decides to slow it down. Smart move there by Costa Rica. Bandit's got the ball. Jigs to the right. Makes a defender jump and comes back to nail the three from the top of the key once again. Honduras coming back. Looking to make them answer. Looking to score points of their own. Gets the shot up. 
gets the two points. 13-point ball game. Just under four minutes left to go in the third quarter. Bandit coming back. Gets double team. Passes to the center. Easy two. And that's going to be a wonderful shot by Honduras. Gets the space just enough to nail it and get a green bean to get the three right back. This is a great back and forth game, especially in the second half. Bandit had the layup, didn't want to take it. Passes it out, gets a turnover, and it's going to be still Honduras ball here. And I got to say, I love the hairdo. I love the brew afro and the blue mohawks that Honduras has going on. Definitely something I wish I could pull off in real life, but definitely can't. Pass goes out. Right corner once again. Takes the shot. That one's not going to go in. Defensive rebound going the other way. Pass to the paint. Nothing there. Goes to the right corner with it. Comes back to Bandit. Top of the key. Takes a shot. That's no good. Defensive rebound. Ball gets past half court. Easy two. Gets it go in, and that's going to be a goaltending, but I think that was going to go in regardless. As Honduras says, we're not going anywhere. They're kicking and screaming. They're looking to make a comeback as it's a 10-point game with about 2.30 to go. And Honduras throws it to the center. Center decides not to take it. Throws it to the left corner. Left corner with the shot. No good. Honduras with the rebound. Dribbling it up. Passes it to the left corner. Left corner gives it to the right corner. Cross-court pass. Right back to the point guard. Top of the key. 10 seconds to go in the shot clock. And that right corner with the three. That's not going to be any good. Going back the other way. Right ha Left hash with the shot. Gets the offensive board. Kicks it right back out. That shot, no good. Defensive board. Coming back the other way. Honduras tries the alley. And, oh, it almost went in. That would have been phenomenal, but unfortunately, they're not able to connect on that one as we've got Costa Rica back again with the ball. Bandit, top of the key, moving and grooving. What's he going to do? Thought he had the crab, took a shot. That's going to be a contested one. They are able to get the offensive board and kick it right back out to their teammate, Seven seconds, and that's stolen in the paint. That pass, fast break, easy two, cutting it down to a single-digit ball game with Costa Rica leading by eight points, 45-37. And you'll notice the center for Honduras has the rim protector badge on. If you're not familiar with it, that rim protector badge means anyone that tries to come inside the paint, it won't, they won't be able to score easily. As the attribute boost goes up for that defender. Gets the rebound. Shoots it from the right corner. That's going to go in. 48-37. 41 seconds left in the third quarter. Honduras decides to talk it over. You want to close out the third quarter strong so you can come in with fourth with a bang and try to close that deficit. Honduras looking to make something happen. Passes it to the right. 10 seconds. Goes to the left corner. Looking to make something happen. 5 seconds. Makes a move. That's not going to go in. Defensive rebound by Costa Rica. We're going the other way. Bandit passes it to the center. Center passes to the right corner. And that shot looked like it was going to be contested. But instead, it's a green bean. Nine seconds to go. Honduras looking to make something happen. Six. Passes it. Deflected. Two seconds. Oh, and they're not able to get a shot up as we go to the fourth quarter. With the score being Costa Rica 51. Honduras being 37. And we've got five more minutes. To see if we can get a phenomenal comeback. And what a shot. Looked once again like it was going to be contested. But he said, no, no. I'm making this one count. Now you can see the same rim protector badge from Costa Rica's center being lit up. And again, that just means that if you've got that rim protector badge, you're going to have strong contest 
and you're going to get a boost, and you're going to have some nice, phenomenal block animations to help anchor the defensive down as a shot from the left corner. No good. Costa Rica with the rebound. Almost lost it there, and they get fouled right before they're able to pass half court. Costa Rica leading 51 to 40. As we've got just a little more than four minutes left to go, and that's another foul attempt. I'm not mad at these foul attempts, as you want to go ahead and try to get a few plucks, try to get a few steals, and have something go your way as Honduras gets the defensive board, looking to make something happen and cut into the deficit, takes it up the court, passing half court, jigs to the right, trying to find his opponents, trying to find some spacing. Unfortunately, that gets deflected. We're going the other way. Passes it to the center. Centers has to go to the right corner. Right corner coming right back out. No space there. Passes it back to the top of the key to Bandit. 10 seconds to make something happen. Bandit moving and grooving. Right hash. Nothing there so far. Five seconds. Got to get something up here soon. Three seconds. Gets a shot up. Not going to be good. Gets a tip. Oh, and it's a defensive board. 337 left in the fourth, and that's going to go ahead and get it back to the right corner, who drains it for a three, making it a single-digit ball game. 51-43, Costa Rica with the lead. 326 left to go in the third quarter as Bandit brings it up the court. Looking to get the skick. and breaks his ankles. Broke his ankles there. Tried to get free to get a shot open. Bandit takes a fade away, and he is green beans. Somebody's got to check that man. As Costa Rica extends their lead to 11 with about three minutes left to go. And that's going to be a foul. We're going to go shoot two. As Honduras is going to hope to make both of these to make it a single digit ball game. First one is good, as is the second. 2.59 left in the third quarter. Costa Rica with the lead. Costa Rica with the ball. Honduras is going to need to clamp down on defense if they're hoping to get back. Try to pluck it. Instead, it's going to be a foul. Shot from the right corner. That's going to be a contested shot. As Honduras gets the ball, coming down, looking to make something happen, cut into the deficit, passes it to the left corner, right back to the teammate. Going back to the top of the key, 15 seconds. Point guard's got it. At the logo, right corner. Decides to come in, takes the midi. Going the other way. 226 left in the fourth quarter. Bandit, moving and grooving. Trying to make something happen. 10 seconds here. Takes the shot. Gets the green. I know you've heard me say that before. Bandit coming out hot. Finding the open space. Draining them. But the opposing point guard said, I'm not going anywhere. As he gets a three of his own. Gets the three right back. It's a nine-point ball game. With about two minutes to go. And Honduras gets the ball back. This should be a close one. Honduras, down nine. Less than two minutes to go. On the left corner. Eight seconds. Got to get something up. Goes back to the right corner. That's defended this time. Passes it back across to the left. Three seconds. Got to get something up. The shot. That's going to go in. That animation. If you play 2K, you know that animation is usually friendly. Game. Costa Rica with the lead. Costa Rica with the ball. Let's see if Honduras is able to create some turnovers. As we've got a minute 37 left in the fourth. Bandit with the ball at the top of the key. Looking to find some space to nail a three or find his, find his teammate. Passes it to the right. That's not going to be good, but they're able to secure the offensive rebound. Pass to the left corner. That shot. That shot's going to go right in. Costa Rica makes it a 10-point game again. Honduras loses the ball. They're battling it out. Passes it. Costa Rica out with it. Takes the three. That shot's not going to be good. Honduras with the rebound. Throwing it up to court. Looking to get some easy points as they score there with a minute six left. Down eight. Bandit comes right on back. Top of the key to the right hash and gets fouled right away. 
That's going to be the foul to give. The next foul is going to be free throws for Costa Rica as we're under two minutes. Top of the key, Bandit. Ten minutes. So far, they're clamping him down. He's got to find some wiggle room. Finds it. Greens it. Nothing new for this man. As he drains the three and Costa Rica decides to take a commanding 11-point lead with 47 seconds left in the first game of this group stage matchup between Costa Rica and Honduras. Honduras with the ball. Trying to make something happen. Gives it to the paint of teammate. Nick knocks him down for two points. They're coming the other way. Costa Rica is not looking to slow it down. They might try to milk the clock here as time is in their favor, but they're getting double teamed. Got to be careful with the passes. You can't get a turnover here. That shot, not going to be good. It's a defensive board. We're going the other way. Three on one. Takes a three. That's not going to go. They get the offensive board. Left corner with the shot. Greens it. 18 seconds left. It's a six-point game. If you're Honduras, you've got to try to get, oh, a turnover, and that one's not going to be it from the right. That's going to be a shot, and that's going to go in. 14.6. Honduras is going to take a timeout to talk about it. Honduras is down at the moment with nine. Got to get some quick points, and that shot's going to be good. Ten seconds. You got to get a turnover here. You got to get a steal. Got to make something happen if you're Honduras, and they almost do there. Passes it, and that's going to be timeout. It's about to get interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Honduras with the ball. Down six. Seven seconds to go. Need a quick three here to make something happen. Gets the pass out to the right hash. Right hash takes a shot. That's contested. That's not going to be it. Costa Rica with the ball. And that's going to be the ball game. The first game of this group stage between Costa Rica and Honduras. And Costa Rica takes it 66 to 60. That one almost went right down to the wire. Definitely had me at the edge of my seat. Definitely a phenomenal game. And I think the player of the game... Who do you guys think it'll be? I think it's got to go to Bandit as he scored well. He scored great. And he was able to dish it out for the assist and get his teammates involved as well. Costa Rica is going to play Mexico for their next matchup. And Honduras is going to play Barbados as they look to get their first win in this group stage. And there it is. Bandit, 34 points, 5 assists, shooting a clip. Of 10 out of 14 from the 3 and 12 from 20 from the field. And it's been a pleasure calling this game with you. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon.